All right, folks. So we got in an interesting part here. This was recommended to me from someone off of Discord. If this works out, it's maybe one of the neatest products I've gotten in a while. All right, guys, so these are the new breakout boards from Parallel Miner. And you can see they, I ordered two of them. So it comes with a 24 pin and an eight pin. So you can power the motherboard and the processor. I really hope this works. These cost about $60 a piece. They're called the ZSX Breakout Board. Pico 24 pin ATX plus fan hubs. Check that out, that is pretty cool. So connect to the server power supply here. You got Molex, Molex, and on here, that Molex connector, you've got another four pin plus one SATA if you need it. You've got the 24 pin for the motherboard and off of that, the cable is breaking out the four or eight pin for the processor. You got what looks like on off. You've got other four pins right there you need to daisy chain and then look at this you've got a fan hub built on here CPU fan plus the auxiliary fans right here and then look at all this PCIe power 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 all on one board oh man so no more need if this works no more need for an ATX power supply I mean, that would save some money right there. And just, you know, hopefully this is reliable. Hopefully this works well. I got the second one also, just in case they became hard to get. I will tell you, I mean, this thing feels like pretty good quality. Look at that. This plate on the back, it's set really well. It feels really sturdy. I was really worried that this was gonna be one of those things it was pretty cheaply made but it does I mean it feels it feels pretty solid uh, none of this was sponsored no discounts nothing like that I just ordered this straight up I'm excited <laughs> I'm excited to get to testing this is the test rig we've been doing our benchmarks on so we've got our ATX power supply right here our server power supply over here so I think what I'm going to do is just take this out of the mix and we will connect this <laughs> Fingers crossed, this works well. Okay, so let me get to disconnecting the ATX power supply and then we'll connect up the server power supply and then plug this in. Okay, so I do have the ATX power supply taken out and we've got the server power supply ready to go. Now, when I was disassembling this, I realized that I am gonna have to use the SATA power off this board. So we're gonna be testing it right away because I'm using an SSD here. So we'll connect that up. Let me get this board removed and we're gonna get the new one put on here. Nice tight fit. Plug our riser back in. We'll put our GPU down here. Let's do the 24 pin here. Excellent. And let's connect that up to this B150 mining motherboard. All right, this motherboard only uses four pin, not the eight pin. So I'm just gonna take four off here. We'll put that in. Last but not least, let's connect up SATA. So I'm gonna do a couple tests. We'll power this on. Tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a AAA wave fan here. This is a 2100 RPM fan. Now on these, this is a previous model where the Molex cables, these were wired incorrectly. So I'm not even going to bother to try those. A lot of folks that tried these told me that they smoked up. I spoke to AAA Wave about it. 
they left them the way they were because they couldn't go back to manufacturing. They had already been delivered. So what we're going to do, let's see here, this has got a three pin fan connector. So we'll just use that. Okay, I'm nervous. We're going to be doing our first test here. Oh, yes, we need Molex to the motherboard. All right, let's get it plugged in. All right, so I'm going to hit power on here. So we're going to see the fan spin up here. There we go. And then on here, I noticed an LED light turn green for the 12 volt LED. And then there's another one that says PC. I can see one of the issues is right here, you're going to have to be able to manage getting the cable length you need off of everything coming off of this into your rig frame. So you're going to have to position this in just the right spot to be able to get power everywhere. Let's try to power it on. Yes, there we go. Check that out. Blue light. It says uh, that's the PC LED light right there. Fan on the processor is spinning. Okay, let me show you these LEDs here real quick. So right down in here, one is just power to the board, it looks like. The gr that's the yellow. The green is going to be the power on switch. And then blue is for the PC. Okay, so right now we've got everything powered on. It looks like we've got power to the fan, obviously. Breakout board, obviously. And the PC fired up. Processor's going. So I am going to hop over and see if I can see this rig appear in Hive. All right, guys, so our Yoda test rig here is up. This is pretty exciting for me, guys. I mean, it may be the end of ATX power supplies for me. Yeah, so the only thing I'm missing right now is a GPU. And I have something, I have a little surprise there, so let me go grab it real quick. Okay, so I snagged another Gigabyte 3070. And just to be clear, since we're talking about it, I mean, I would prefer to have the 3060 Ti or a 3080, but right now just trying to build the farm back up. If I can grab a 3070 at MSRP, I'm grabbing them. Probably going to get better resale value. Otherwise, hash power is pretty much the same as the 3060 Ti. So let me do this. Let me get this unboxed. Let me get it put on our test rig over here. And we'll see if this guy can take it. This is the Gigabyte Gaming 3070. And this is the first one of these I have had. We've got an eight pin and a six pin. So it looks like we've got two DisplayPort and two HDMI. I mean, this looks like a scaled down version of that Gigabyte Aorus card, no LCD, which probably, assuming it performs well, probably better for mining anyway. Okay, let me get this put on. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so we got the riser connected. We've got the Gigabyte 6 pin and 8 pin connected. We're all strapped in and we are connected down here onto the breakout board. We still have our fan connected. This will be this will be the GPU test here. Let me fire this up and uh, hopefully no smoke. Fan GPU's lighting up. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go, motherboard. All right, looking good. Let's, uh, let's wait just a minute and we'll check Hive and make sure that this GPU gets up and running here. Okay guys, look at this. Our Yoda test rig is back up. And before I even go into the rig, it's already mining at 60 mega hash. So let me open that up. We had our overclock set for that 3060 Ti that we were doing testing on in a previous video on this rig. So right now we're at minus 500 on the core, 2000 on the memory, 120 on the power limit. Okay, well, we're not doing, we're not doing hash rate testing, but we can see that it did boot. We can see that it's mining. And I would, I'd consider that a success, guys. I'm pretty impressed. So $60. I'll leave a link to this in the show notes. $60 for this breakout board. I'm super impressed so far for as much as you've seen in this video. I mean, I would recommend this. 
it is a bit pricey in the sense that you can get a bronze power supply for about $40 these days. But I don't know, when you take out the complexity of having another power supply, having to purchase that, having it take up space. Yeah, I'm very excited to have this. I will continue testing it. I'll keep you guys in the loop on how it goes over the next week to two weeks, but this may be the end of ATX power supplies for me. Let me know what you think. Put it in the comments below. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Good monkey like you